Now, it's been over a year since the Inyobeni Tavern tragedy that claimed 21 young lives in the Eastern Cape province. But families are still not satisfied with the explanation of suffocation as the cause of death. They are demanding the full toxicology reports. But as Ronald Masinda reports, officials say the matter is with police and is out of their hands. There were various reports about the probable cause of the deaths of 21 young people at Enyobeni Tavern. Some parents still don't believe the outcomes of an official toxicology report released by the Eastern Cape Health Department. When they given us those results, they said to us all the children, alcohol, methanol and carbon monoxide was detected to all the children. But we know that not all the children alcohol was detected from them. So that's why we want those results as the children, so that we can have a third party who can look at those results and see what is it that is on those results. Family members of the 21 young people that died at Enyobeni Tavern are still waiting for answers nearly 13 months since the tragic events unfolded. You are talking to Kululegile Ngandana, one of the parents who lost a child on the Enyobeni incident. We wanted some help as to what can we do so that we can get the copies of, 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 of the post-mortem results. There, there's no results without that because we've done all the work and we hand it over to SAPS. Everything is on SAPS. Yes. So there's absolutely nothing without The Department of Health got nothing on this matter because that is the procedure normally. Parents feel that they've been sent from pillar to post, while officials say investigations are still ongoing. The department has been informed of the picket by families of 21 children who died at a New Benetavan tragedy in July 2022 at our Woodbrook forensic offices in East London this morning. The department wishes to provide clarity on the processes followed in issuing the cause of death results. It must be noted that the department's mandate remains that of conducting forensic investigations for cases that require investigations to determine the cause of death. This means that the forensic report and all other relevant documents for such cases belong to the South African Police Services. Upon the completion of the forensic investigation process, the department handed over the report to the SAPS investigation officer. The department therefore wishes to report that the cause of death results for this particular case were handed over to SAPS to conduct their investigation. We also want to emphasize that this is standard procedure, as the law prohibits the department to divulge the cause of death for investigative cases, as this may jeopardize police investigation. We therefore also wish to emphasize that the matter is before the court of law. The trial of the accused Sia Kangela and Vyoka Zindevo continues next month in East London. And while parents are still hoping to get justice, they are also hoping to get their hands on the official toxicology report. Ronald Masinda, East London.